All right, if we can uh, come back together, find your seat. We'll get going with the second panel here quickly. Uh, just to remind you, I'm Andrew Pleasant, filling in for George Isham, who uh, I clearly hope is in route. <laughs> so we have uh, three speakers now, but let me uh, briefly pause and thank those of you who did make it today. Um, where I grew up, three inches of snow wasn't a lot, but in many other cities, it is a huge uh, encumbrance. So uh, congratulate yourself on your perseverance through whatever method of transit you use today. So our uh, first speaker will be Dr. Mark Williams. <clears throat> Mark is uh, the director of the Center for Health Services Research and professor and vice chair of the Department of Internal Medicine at the University of Kentucky. He also serves as principal investigator for the Society of Hospital Medicine's Project BOOST, uh, BOOST standing for Better Outcomes by Optimizing Safe Transitions. Dr. Williams' research focuses on quality improvement, care transitions, teamwork, and the role of health literacy in the delivery of health care. The first uh, reactor to uh, uh, Dr. Williams' presentation will be uh, Dr. Bernard Dreyer on the roundtable. Dr. Dreyer is a professor of pediatrics and director of developmental behavioral pediatrics at New York University School of Medicine. His research group has been instrumental in documenting improved outcomes seen in children exposed to early literacy programs such as Reach Out and Read, and has also been on the forefront of studying ways to improve communications between providers and families with lower literacy, health literacy, and limited English proficiency. Dr. Dreyer is a co-chair of the American Academy of Pediatrics Health Literacy Program Advisory Committee. The next reactor will be Dr. Avniel Shitrit Klein. Dr. Shitrit Klein is Associate Medical Information Officer at the Mount Sinai Medical Center. In addition to being an active uh, clinical practitioner specializing in the rehabilitation of individuals with spinal cord injury, he leads a team of clinicians who provide clinical input into decisions affecting the information systems at the medical center, focusing heavily on the use of EMR and associated systems to drive quality safety and regulatory initiatives. And the final speaker on the panel is Dr. Manwai Ng. Dr. Ng is the chief of the Department of Dentistry at Boston's Children's, Universe, Children's Hospital, excuse me, and assistant professor of developmental biology in pediatric dentistry at the Harvard School of Dental Medicine. She has been in full-time hospital dentistry and has served as residence Residency Director of Pediatric Dentistry at two children's hospitals. Dr. Ng is also a member of the Review Committee of the Commission on Dental Accreditation and the Examination Committee of the American Board of Pediatric Dentistry, and I have reading skills sometimes. <laughs> Today is not always the case, but um, Dr. Williams, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. <laughs> 